Hey, what's up guys? Totally Dubbed here and today I'm going to be making a video on lithium batteries and these are my uh, thoughts and opinions on them. This is part uh, based on past experience that I've had in the last five or so years and uh, the devices I have had. Before getting into this, I am no physicist or no chemical expert from Russia named Boris, but I'm a person that likes reviewing technology. If you do want to see some more information on batteries and how they degrade, you can quickly Google search how do lithium batteries degrade or why do they degrade and you'll be able to see some nice information posted on the web about this. I use my batteries quite normally. I use them in pretty much ideal conditions. I let them charge and discharge normally. I use them regularly and I use them in normal temperatures between 20 and 30 centigrade um, temperatures. So therefore, in terms of degradation, I am quite um, aware of degradation and I always try and maintain my batteries quite well. Now you might be thinking, but why would you want to maintain your battery? And what is degradation? Well, degradation is what I'm going to show you right now. Over here, I have the original Samsung battery that came with my phone. It is the battery that um, I, I, I didn't buy and it came uh, and I was able to use for about a year. After about a year, I noticed the battery life start decreasing, decreasing, so I thought to buy myself a second battery with a battery charger, which looks like this. And what I noticed was an increased uh, battery life of my phone. Using the same ROM, using pretty much the same apps, I was like, ah, that's pretty nice, I get some extra battery life out of it. I already knew this, however, but I never thought it would have still apply um, in nowadays uh, technology. The reason I'm saying that is because te as technology moves on, battery technology is pretty much um, at a standstill. Battery technology hasn't really moved that much forwards. In cars, you've still got 12 volt batteries which still degrade and still um, are going to need an alternator and whatnot to constantly power them and recharge them. And in phones and in laptops, you're still going to get lithium um, certain cell batteries that are going to degrade over time. To show you degradation, this is it. Original battery, used for about a year. Newer battery, that's been used for maybe half a year. Right now, I'm at 42% with 22 hours and 45 minutes um, on time, with a screen on time of 2 hours and 10 minutes. Now, if I go to my files, you'll be able to see that I was on three hours, but on 21 hours at 4%. In other words, for the extra 40, 50 minutes that I used this battery, it had already reached 4% and it was only at 21 hours did the battery die. So what I'm trying to say is that this battery that's right in here is gonna last for three hours, in three hours screen on time and it's gonna last for one day and ten hours or one day and fifteen hours that is my prediction but I'm pretty accurate with that because I've noticed uh, my battery life and uh, always monitored my battery usage on different ROMs and kernels and whatnot so this is a real-world example of battery degradation one being used quite extensively and then um, after a while being replaced by a newer variant of it that had never been used and you can see the difference um, in front of your eyes. What I'm trying to say right now is that batteries do degrade. Um, I noticed this back in the Samsung Galaxy S1 when I first bought uh, an Android phone and that was quite a shock to me. When I had a Samsung Galaxy S1 um, in front of me that had been used by for one and a half years with the same battery and then a similar Samsung Galaxy S1 with the same ROM, same app, same firmware, same kernel and whatnot that lasts for three days, whereas mine lasted for one and a half days, is where I decided, look, batteries are a big deal in the mobiling world. Without a removable battery, you're not going to get the most out of your phone. At least you are going to get it in the first year or so, but then after that, you're going to start noticing heavy degradation. No matter what usage you're going to do, batteries are going to degrade. There's no ways of defying them, it's just the way they work. Over time, the cells degrade, and therefore, 
your 100% that you had in one year is now the new 80% or 85% in the second year. So when you charge to 100% in the second year and you haven't changed your battery, that 100% that, that it shows you is really in fact 85% of the capacity of the battery because the other bit of the battery has completely degraded and uh, degenerated. That is how lithium batteries work. Over time and over, uh, over extended periods of usage, they're going to degrade no matter how much you want to look at it. So when people ask me, hey, Chris, are you going to buy a new phone um, or are you going to buy a non-Samsung phone because of what Samsung's been doing recently with their locked, um, their uh, annoying bootloaders and kernels and whatnot? My answer is yes, I would love to buy another phone from another operator, uh, another manufacturer, should I say. But... As long as they don't offer removable batteries, I'm going to stick to Samsung phones because they're the only ones which, which offer removable batteries. So at least one of the big major players out there which offer it. So in that respect, I really cannot wait until another manufacturer offers removable batteries because it's only until then where Samsung will have more competition from people like me that like having other batteries and removable batteries. Anyway, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I know it's been not too much information, but I just thought to share my thoughts and opinions and uh, a real world example of uh, two batteries which are identical, but one which has been used more than the other. If you do want to buy other batteries, I do suggest buying an official battery like this, like Samsung official battery. Make sure it is an official battery from a reputable source. Or you could buy aftermarket batteries, but make sure they are also reputable by other reviews on the internet. For example, Anchor and RAV Power are two reputable sources and two batteries I would recommend uh, if you'd want to buy it. This one is a 4,400 milliamp battery, which is pretty thick. And this one is a 2,200 milliamp battery, adding 100 milliamps over the stock battery. But anyway, guys, I hope this video has helped. I hope this will... Um, maybe open eyes to certain people uh, out there which um, didn't know about this uh, but it's something that's very important for me because I never like being limited on my phone uh, I remember once not having an external battery on me because I always carry around an external battery in my pocket because they're so light and they were cheap they're like nine pounds each or something and I remember forgetting to take my battery and I was limited into what I could do on my phone because in my uh, when it comes to my phone and my usage I like using it 100% all the time with a high brightness, um, using my 3G, using my GPS, using my music, using everything and not being limited. Whereas when I was without a battery, I was limited into what I was doing and it was really, really frustrating because I remember saying to myself, I really, really feel sorry for people which have iPhones, for example, not only because iPhones kind of suck, but also because of the fact that they have to stick on one battery and be limited to that and if they open their phone up to change their battery then they're breaking their warranty so I really feel sorry for those people out there but for those of us that have Samsung devices or have um, a device that has a removal battery do get yourself a new battery if you've never have done so and do notice the increased battery life you will really you'll not you'll not regret it and you'll really enjoy the extra um, life you get out of your phone Anyway guys, I've been totally dubbed. Please do like, comment and subscribe this video. It always does help. And uh, do let me know your thoughts below. Alright guys, I've been totally dubbed. Take care. Bye bye.